Welcome back everyone to another deck profile and in uh, this deck profile I'll be doing Karibos. If you don't know, Karibo is a monster from the original Yu-Gi-Oh! That ended up spawning its own very own deck. And right here with me I have a Karibo deck and so let's get right to the profile. Now first off, two now first off two Karibos. This card is searchable, so you don't really need a third one. Seeing there are other Kuribos that you want to see first. Of course, that would include three Kuriborn. This card's really good. It's essentially a soul charge for Kuribos. And you don't have to pay any sort of cost. When your opponent monster declares an attack, you can banish this and special summon as many Kuribos as you can. If your board's empty, then you can special summon five. If as long as you have five in the grave. But the best way to get them to the grave is three curry bandits. Curry bandits really good. Essentially what you want to do is you normal summon and on the fen phase you can tribute him, excavate five cards, add one spell trap and send the rest to the grave. Considering you want your Kreebos in the grave in order to uh, bring him back with Kreeborn. And it's also a good way to get like maybe a multiply or transcendent wings or any other spell trap because it doesn't say Karibo spell trap. So you can add a monster reborn or full sparrow, whatever you want. It's very powerful. Next, I run Sphere Karibo. One thing you'll notice is the Karibos are mostly kind of like hand traps. When your opponent's monster declares an attack, discard this and they change it to their monster to defense position. Next, I run three wing Karibo. This card you want to, want to run three of considering this is where you get your most damage from. Essentially, what you do is you activate. Transcendent Wings, send this to the grave, along with two cards from your hands. Special Summon a uh, Wing Creeper level 10, and level 10's effect, you contribute it to nuke your opponent's board, or you destroy all your opponent's face-up attack position monsters and inflict damage to their life points equal to the combined original attack of all their monsters destroyed by this effect. Speaking of Wing Creeper, speaking of Wing Creeper level 10, I run two Wing Creeper level 10. This card you don't really want to see in your hand that often, which is where I run two. Some may run one, but I like to run two just in case. Let's say you're going against Sky Strikers or a deck like that. This isn't going to do a whole lot of damage to them because they don't have big boards. Like This thing can kill big boards, but if, if they don't have a big board, then it's not going to be as effective. So that's why I run two, just in case the first one doesn't get done. That's it for the Karibos. Next. I run three Ash Blossom. I don't think I really need to explain how good this card is. I also run one Effect Veiler. This is pretty much all you need in terms of hand traps, considering the Kruos are kind of like hand traps in of themselves. Now for the spells. I run three Flute of Summoning Kruo. This card's really good. Basically, when you activate it, you can add one Kruo or Ring Kruo from your deck to your hand or special summon it. Not to mention, it is also a quick play, so you can use it during your opponent's turn if you need to have a meat shield or something. But you also got stuff like Sphere Kribo, Kriborn. It's a really good card to get into the cards you want. Because you want to have Kribo and Winged Kribo. Because Winged Kribo works with Transcendent Wings. And a regular Kribo works with Multiplier. This is your uh, token generator. Essentially, tribute one face of Kribo to special summon as many Kribo tokens as possible. So it's kind of like running three extra scapegoats, but you can do something with them on the turn that they are summoned. Next, of course, I run three Transcendent Wings. This is the card that kind of facilitates the uh, Wind Creeble level 10, because Wind Creeble level 10 only works if you use Transcendent Wings. Like, if you tribute into a Wind Creeble level 10, you can't use its effect. I'm not even sure if you can summon it without Transcendent Wings. Next, I run one Detonate. Essentially, destroy as many Kribo or Kribo tokens as possible and destroy cards up to the number you destroyed. I mainly use this for like spell and trap removal. Like, I remember one, in uh, one match, I was going up against um, my opponent, had a There Can Only Be One, so I activated this and got rid of it. So, this is really useful in certain situations, which is why I run one of it. Here's a card you have to have. Moon Mirror Shield. You can equip this to a monster and essentially its attack will be 
100 higher than anything it battles. If you go into a monster with 3k attack, then your opponent's then your monster will have 3100 attack. So it's really good to get it over monsters or protect your monsters from battle. Next, I run one scapegoat. It, it's a token generator deck. You gotta have this. Also run one one for one. All the creebos are level one, so it pretty much works with very, almost everything on the stack. The only Kribo that is not level one is Kree Bandit. So it works on Kribo, Kree Born, Wing Kribo, Sphere Kribo. So out of all the decks out there, one for one is probably the best in a Kribo deck. Of course, you got card destruction. You want to get your Kribos from deck to the grave, as well as there's some certain Kribos you want to see as quickly as possible. So let's say you break in, let's say you have only like Sphere Kribos and Kreeborn, activate it. Send it all to the grave to kind of give you a bit better hand, maybe. And the last spell is Monster Reborn. Monster Reborn is a really insane card. I usually run it within most of my decks because even if it's not part of a certain combo or strategy, it's always going to help. Next, for the traps, I run one Judgment and two Strikes. It'd be better by it'd be better to run a uh, three judgments, but right now I only have one. I'm waiting for the other two. So right now I have two strikes in place fit, and of course, can't go wrong with an infinite permanence. These are essentially the traps used to like stun your opponents. I also run one threatening roar, helps to uh, protect my monsters and my life points. Now sometimes you may want them to attack, especially if you have preborn in the grave. But if you don't. And this card uh, can be really helpful. And last but not least is Chain Hole. This is a really good card, especially deadly for True Dracos. Considering True Dracos activate effects in response to your activation. But this will essentially just kill that. Now for the extra deck. I run 3 Link Karibo. It's a Karibo deck. They're full of level 1, so you'd want to run 3 Karibos, Link Karibos. Not to mention even... And other strategies, Link Kribo is still a good card, so having three, especially in a deck deck that uh generates tokens, you're gonna want Link Kribo. As well as two proxy dragon. Considering this only requires two monsters, so you can use tokens for it. I might use it either for the arrows or whenever I'm using a scapegoat or multiplier to turn the tokens into effect monsters which I can then bring use to bring out something bigger. Of course you got Nightmare Phoenix and Nightmare Service. You can't go wrong with that. They're just good generic link twos. This can destroy spells and traps. This can destroy special summon monsters and if they're co-linked when this activates you draw a card. So that's they're really good link monsters. Next I run one star use of Skull Dread. I'd run more, but I only have one. I also run one Borlo Dragon. Can't go wrong with that. Borlo Dragon's just an insanely powerful card. Of course, with this Kribo deck, you're also going to need a Boral Sword Dragon. I was finally able to get a Boral Sword. These I pretty much put in every deck considering just how good they are. Any deck that can pretty much get these out is easily... This really helps. Especially for a Kribo deck, you probably wouldn't really need a Boral Sword. Because this really helps with giving you some wins. Considering this deck generates tokens, getting into a Boil Sword Dragon is pretty easy. I also run two... I also run one Traffic Ghost and one Gaia Saber the Lightning Shadow. Essentially just generic links that I can use. I also run one Sylvan Prince Prite. This card's really good. Essentially you can activate to... and if it's Spell and Trap, add to hand. So this really uh, works in this deck. And I also got one Lion Heart. This is essentially similar to uh, this is essentially similar to Moon Mirror Shield. So that was my uh, Kribo deck. Maybe you plan on building a Kribo deck yourself, or are you just looking for some cards you can put in here? This deck actually surprised me. I went to uh, my locals with this. And I was able to get two wins using the Kribos. I wasn't even expecting to get any wins because the Kribos 
If you don't get Transcendent Wings or Boral Sword, there's literally nothing you can do. But I was able to get to them pretty effectively. Which helped win me two games. So this deck is a lot better than it seems. So that's going to do all for this uh, Kribo deck profile. Do you think there's any other cards that I probably could have put in with this? Maybe anything I missed? Let me know in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.